Welcome back to California, guys. It's a beautiful sunny day. Of course, we're in California. But check it out. We brought the fire station here to California, here to Central Valley, California. Now, it's super dry. It's super hot always here. So, well, of course, we need a fire station. I've already run you guys through our fire station. We pretty much built a one that we had on um, back on the Rainport 4X map. We're just going to be carrying it over here. Kind of the same, same station, same setup. For the most part, besides we don't have police uh, vehicles because there's actually a police station. So our fire station and police station don't need to serve as like dual, um, like simultaneously, like both in the same building. So we have water here. I was just in the process of filling up all of our tanks here or all of our engines that it, when we go out and fight some fires, which we're going to be getting a lot of fires. Um, like I said, it is it is the uh, here. Let me get it, this in position. But it's we're in Central Valley, California. It's super hot. It's like 90 here, what it, fire danger ex, today's fire danger is is extreme you got low moderate i know it's kind of bad quality but it's all the way on the red so that's not looking good now it can get worse but it's not looking good but what i'm doing now is we are filling up with water it does take a while there's our gauge that's uh 74 thousand uh liters are going in right now so we're getting that loaded up and stuff so and then we have one engine here and then we have Okay, we need actually more engines. Right now, I'm the only one running today, but we have two special uh, operations units. Now, these are, do come in handy. They're pretty important, but I want more engines because we need more engines. So I at least want to get one or two more engines on here. But yeah, like I said today, I'm the only one at the station. So te technically, I'm only going to be running one engine. So I'm going to wait for that to fill up. We are going to... I'm going to get all my supplies ready. Mostly everything's ready. Just want to double check everything. Make sure everything's in position. Been here for about two days now. No fire. But everything. Oh, there we go. We got a picture of me right there. There we go. Doing the Superman pose. Uh-oh. There's an alarm. We got a fire. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got a fire. Come on. Open up. Oh, no. It's this way. All right. There we go. We're still filling up with water, but we got to go. That's the first time I've actually ever heard that. All right. Everything's in. Starting to erupt. We're still filling up with water, but we got to leave. We gotta go. We have plenty of water to fight a fire. All right, location. We got a GPS here. Let's light her up. There we go. We got the sirens blaring. There's the train. We made the train perfect. Nice and all right. Those guys better stop. There we go. They're slowing down for me. All right, so I'm receiving word. It's a construction zone. It's a like work trailer. I'm trying to get the best address there right now. I think it's right up here, just south of the Walmart. There we go, pulling in. I think this is, it's right up here. There we go, pulling in. All right, there's the dealership. Okay, it's right, there it is. All right, I got eyes on the fire. It's a, it's like one of the boss's trailers or something. They're telling me like a work trailer. So nobody technically is supposed to live in there. There we go, it's like an office building. There we are, pulling up. Right, we can take the sirens off. All right, we got the hose on. There we go, start spraying. This is hot, boys, this is hot. I'm gonna get that door open as soon as I can. I'm gonna start shooting through the windows here. Looks like locally, oh wait. Okay, they were actually working on this, so it looks like it could be some renovation fire. All right, let's bust through these windows here. Get the hose in there. Oh no, boys, this isn't looking good. Our first fire, I'm by myself. This is actually a pretty good sized fire. I should be able to take it out. There we go, start getting in the windows. You can hear us break the windows there with our water. So powerful. All right, there we go. Keep spraying. What I'm going to do, it's too hot to get that door open right now. I'm going to stay in this window and just spray it from here. Oh, can I get this door? Oh, it's, it's too hot. It's way too hot. I can just feel the heat coming off. So I'm going to hang out here for a while. Keep spraying. All right, I've been at it for a few minutes here inside it's starting to cool down it's 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 turning a little lighter it's more smoke white smoke now than black smoke so that's good there we go keep spraying but it would have been nice to have some help on this one it is dying down and that we're kind of localizing it when i shot through this window here i felt like i was getting a lot of work done there we go stay on her stay on her all right we're about eight to ten minutes in now she's still a blazing I've mostly stayed on this side. I have mixed it up a bit, moved around, but it seems like it kind of reinvigorated a bit, but I think it is dying down. There isn't too much in there. Again, it's an office space. 
It is made out of like mostly wood though, so at least they said the roof was and a few other things. All right, there we go. The fire is out. For the most part, like it's really calmed down. Inside it is quite hot still. I'm not gonna open the door just yet. Actually, the nice thing is there was like a hole on the roof. So I was just talking to the construction guys. They came over here, told me what was up. They think it was like one of the bosses smokes a lot. They think possibly it was him smoking in there because there's actually like a hole on the roof. So that actually helped me out a lot when I was fighting this fire because the smoke is able to really escape. Um, but it was also getting oxygen too. So that wasn't too good, but there we go. I'm going to hang out here for a bit. Uh, talk to a few of the construction workers and then have the police come in and uh, investigate and then we'll have our fire investigation crew come down and take care of all the other like paperwork and figuring out what started it because I got to get back to the station to refill the tank. There we go. Refill the engine up. But okay, here's the construction guys hanging out here, but I'm going to get heading back. There it is. There's the uh, renovations or repairs they were doing and not a renovation. I don't think they would renovate that. All right, we'll watch out for traffic here. But it looks like, yeah, they were doing repairs. Initially, I thought it was probably like a renovation fire or like repair fire, but the guy said they think it was the boss. He was last in there. Um, he got out of there uh, just fine. All right, so there we go. The first fire is knocked out and done. Engine 44 did a good job. And uh, it could have spread to those trees. Good thing um, those trees are pretty dry. I mean, it's roughly like fall time right now. Um, but it's not... Yeah, it was pretty dry. I was really lucky. Those trees did get, did get burned up pretty bad, but not terrible. Better turn my hazards off. Now we're heading back to the station. I need to jump in the showers, hit, get a quick shower, cool off. That was uh, that was a tough one. And I'm actually going to fill up with fuel here at BP. This is the one that we usually go to. It's closest to the shop. So just to make sure everything's good, we'll fill fuel up with gas here. I'm going to go get some water. There we go. Got some water. She's all fueled up, ready to go. One thing we always like to do is make sure our trucks are like full just about every time we head out for the day. And I did consume a lot more fuel than I thought I would on that one. And I just, I can't have this guy run out of uh, fuel or something. So we're going to head it back over the tracks. There we go. And then the only thing that is a, is a pretty big negative about our location, uh, it is perfectly on the outskirts of town. But it is right next to a set of train tracks, which isn't good. It's a pretty frequently used. It's not too bad, but it is fairly frequently used train tracks. And if there's a chain train that slows us down. Now, the nice thing is they do zoom by uh, or they aren't super long. They are slow, but I think at most it would cost us about two to three minutes, which could be um, super important. But we have a few ways around it. There we go. We got the engine back in our station. We'll go ahead and close all the doors. Go and then I'm still filling it up with water too, so we're still filling the tank up. I left with the hose actually like halfway on. It thank goodness it did come off. Um and then it quit like filling up with water, but that would have been bad. Really bad. So I'm gonna go jump in, take a shower, and I right, I actually are the shower I think the showers are yeah, they're over here, so quickly hit the showers, undress, and uh and then I'll be ready to go again. Alright, we got another fire. This isn't good. Two fires in one day. Here we go. We're going off the pole. Here we go. Get on the pole. Perfect. Open the doors. There we go. Good, good, good. Let's light them up. There we are. Fire up the old engine here. We got the train going. That's not good. It's just about to pass, so that'll be just fine. And hopefully he sees us peeling out of here, but like I said, the train isn't the best thing to have. All right, so this one is in a really bad location. It's actually in town. It's like in the suburbs. The main suburbs actually pretty close to our, uh, our station, too, so... We should be able to see it. Yep, there it is. I knew by the address I would be able to see it once I got here. So I didn't really look too hard at the address uh, once I knew what street it was on. Okay, there it is. One of the bigger houses, too. There we go. There's no... I wish there was, like, a back road to get through there, but there wasn't. All right, we're pulling in. This is a full-on house fire. This isn't looking good. There's people out. Everybody's probably going crazy. All right, what I'm going to do, let's pull up across the street. Here we go. I got the hose ready to go. All right, this is bad. This is full on house fire. I might need to call him back up. I'm going to it looks like it, it doesn't look good. All right, we're going to we're going to shoot every window here. Just stay it seems like it started in the basement. Usually uh in the garage. It's like over the garage. 
All right, there we go. Stay on her. She's a hot one. Our hose. We're able to get there. We don't have too much hose. The fire, the fire hydrant that we hooked up to was pretty far away. There we go. Stay on her. The house's paint is already starting to peel off. This isn't good. She's hot there. The siding is fully warped. Look at that, boys. That's not good. All your signs of this one, we might... I'm going to fight it, but we might just let it burn here. Uh, and then control the fire, because this thing has engulfed every single window. I think we can fight it. There we go. Stay on her. Actually, I might be wrong about the garage. It feels like the hottest part of the house has been the living room. I'm not sure where it originated, though. There we go. Spray it down. All right, we're going in. Spray it. Spray it. All right, this is too hot. This is too hot. Getting back and out. Back, back and out. There we go. All right, we got smoke coming out of the windows now. This looks a little better. Smoke's coming out of the windows. All right, I busted all the windows on the front of the house. It's venting really good. I'm about to bust these windows too. Probably just spray the water. They're starting to bust. There we go. Perfect. There we go. We busted that one. Heat is really starting to escape. It's looking better on the inside so far. This isn't good though, boys. We've been at it for about five, six minutes. We're putting dents in her though. All right, I'm going in with the chainsaw. We got to bust that door open. All right, let's get in there. There we go. Cut a hole. Go down. All right, doors open. Pray and pray. Stay on her. All right, that didn't work out too good, guys. The chainsaw kind of broke. And once I open that door, it is venting now, but it's not too much better. There we go. Stay on her. All right, the fire is completely calmed down. It's been like five, ten minutes uh, since I last saw you guys. Now, the inside is still burning, but she's really, really calmed down. We've gotten uh, fighter fires inside now. I had some backup come from uh, a neighboring city, so that turned out good. But we need to get more people out of here. More people at the station, some volunteer uh, firefighters and stuff that I can have help me out because this one was probably too tough for me. But it turned out pretty good. Not gonna lie, everybody was cheering once she kind of started to back down. And uh, it's pretty evident that she's still good. There we go. I'm just gonna keep hosing her down here. Alright, I think I can get back to the station and uh, things should be good on my part. And then the rest of the guys are just gonna stay there from the other county and clean it up because I have a duty to get back there and get everything ready to go in case there's two fires like I said we need we for sure need more engines and I'll talk to the, like the mayor and stuff about it but we're just setting up shop right now too so the first few days we've had a station um or like the new station we tore down the old one put up the new one so oops I can probably turn off my flashers there now I'm in no rush but we got to jump back to the station, refill everything, get her going good again. But there she is, boys. A heck of a day. We need we need more firefighters, first things first. And then we need to buy another engine. So hopefully there's enough, enough like uh, budget for the city that we can do that. And then here's the fire station as well for Central Valley, uh, California here. Super big fire station. We were gonna branch off a uh, <laughs> super big police station. We were gonna build a fire station right next to it, but yeah, here's the police station. Super big, and uh, it kind of has like the European vibe to it a little bit. But I'm gonna head back to the station, guys. I'll see you when we get there. There we go. We're pulling back into the station. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please smash the like button. I would really, really appreciate it. And like always, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more fire episodes, let me know in the comments. I Like I said, we need to get more people on here, and I'm sure there's going to be more fires. And then it is extreme. like It's forest fire time around here. So like I said, like today's fire danger was super high. I'm surprised we didn't get anything out in the mountains. Because that's... Like, we're going to be covering in city. But if there's anything that's encroaching on the city, like, we're going to be first responders for that. So we have all this mountain range that's covered in... Um, like really dry it's not too thick but it's, it's just very dry so hope you guys did enjoy today's episode i'll see you guys in the next one